TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy Year End Review with The Ambassador, Slay J, and Pablo Gunner, The we're Gun Show. Oh yeah, and we're here to talk nerdy to you about 2023, the best of, right? Yes, yeah. Like, but uh, just go ahead and hit us up. We're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Anywhere you want to go, TNTM the show, you can find our content. You can go to Facebook, look at our reels, go to Instagram, look at our memes, go to our website, check everything out. Yep. Especially our merch. But wait, there's more. Absolutely, yes. I have the new Doctor Who, which this was just a prototype. This is why we order our stuff, because we're like, okay, how's this going to look? Not as good as I thought, I, you know, like... I thought this was going to be a good placement right here, but uh, no, it's, it's, gonna, too in between. it's too high. Oh, well, okay. the, the lettering's too high, lettering. so I'm going to drop it. So I already dropped it. I drop, I pulled it all down, so it's already up on the site. Fixed. Boom. Ready for you there to you get go. the new and improved Talk Nerd to Me Doctor Who merch. We do have some free shipping uh, merch, so check out that. It has a ribbon that says free shipping, mm -hmm. and 5% uh, of our proceeds each month go to a different charity, so... Uh, check that out and support us so you can support some good causes out there like diabetes. Uh, what was our most recent one? Uh, AIDS. AIDS, yes. Uh, not not the people that help you, but the the uh, the affliction on people. So mm -hmm. just think of Freddie Mercury, and you'll you'll know what it is. <laughs> Uh, so I think we should start off with some movies since yes, I think yeah. I think we all have something to to add to that. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Uh, Pablo, do you want to start us off? Well, I do want to start off saying I did watch Barbie. It was a solid movie. It was really witty. It was really clever. I, it, it was just really smart. Really, it was just like a heartfelt movie. I'm interested to see the sequel pick up exactly where it leaves off. Uh, but we'll see if that actually happens or not. But yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah, honorable mention to the soundtrack of that too. I think Billie Eilish did a oh, really yeah. good job well, with that. Song. There was a lot. There were Lizzo's on there. There was a lot of mm -hmm. big artists on that that I Ryan think it was Gosling. all original. <laughs> Ryan Gosling's songs in it, you know, when he sings as Ken. Oh, yes, yes. dude. The Ken's <laughs> face-offs were so funny. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Like, the beach joke, like, was so great. Oh, my God. Yeah, so clever. And would you say it was, like, too feminist or... No. Yeah. I mean... I think it had a bad rap, you know, in that sense. Yeah, even my buddy, he's like... He was like, I, I don't get the hate either. Like, it was just a fart. It was a, it was a smart, funny movie. Yeah, a farce, right? Like, yeah. From what I understand, it made fun of extremes. Mm -hmm. yes. So, like, Barbie's world is extreme feminism... To the point where it doesn't function, and then the parody of our world was an extreme that it doesn't function as well. Right, pretty much, yeah. more yeah, or less. Yeah, that's a great thing. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm glad you checked it out because I, you know, definitely said it was worth seeing for for sure. Oh, uh, okay. So what else, man? So, but my favorite movie because I was like, man, Miss Marvels, it hit me, right? Like that's the thing is for me. A lot of stuff was emotional, like Aquaman was emotional. The, the brother stuff in there was that hit me pretty hard. Brother? I'm gonna have a brother? <laughs> I've always dreamed about having a brother. Speak of the devil. Oh, brother! <laughs> brother? I'm Paul. You must be Tommy. Brothers don't shake hands. Brothers got a hug. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of my lack of sleep or just because, you know, I'm more in touch now that I have girls. Uh, and then Miss Marvels because I have, or The Marvels because I have girls and in just in general that was great. And I was like, I wanted to pick Miss Marvels, but then I was like, nope, there's one that's a little bit better. The Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume oh, yes. 3. Yes, that one was That great. one was like, yeah. so many, I was like, that one made me cry multiple times throughout the movie and I was like it's funny that there's that themes where that movie was like that's a perfect movie to see with your close friends then Marvel's there to see with like you know your girlfriends or, or and stuff like that you know girls and then brothers with Aquaman you know what I mean like that was really cool but yeah definitely Guardians it was that one 
hit me in the feels really good and just made the perfect trilogy too. Yeah, that backstory with Raccoon, uh, Rocket Raccoon mm -hmm. was was great. Enriches it. Yeah, it enriches does. the entire trilogy so much. It really does. It, that was such a seamless tri trilogy in my opinion, probably one of the best out there. Mm -hmm. um, just for just the way the story progressed and the third one wasn't horrible. Like most of the time third movies are just horrible. Or they're just not really that character's movie. Like Captain America Civil War was just a another Avengers movie. It wasn't Captain America. Right. And he didn't get the third movie he deserved. I will say though there's one thing in Guardians that still sticks in my craw which is when he makes the leap he doesn't have his his helmet and he doesn't have the the boots or like the the clip on jets and I just thought like and someone told me that they were destroyed in a previous movie, which I didn't remember. But it's like, why wouldn't you just get them remade or whatever? You know what I mean? Like, why wouldn't you have them? You had them in the first movie. You had them in the second movie, as far as I remember. Why wouldn't you have them in the third? And to me, I just thought, like, that moment could have still had that. It sh that should have still been in there. But you should have been like, I'm going to stick my helmet onto one of the people we're saving. I'm going to stick my boots onto one of the people we're saving. And then he's going to take the leap. You know what I mean? That would have made that better and it would have made it more sense because that's the biggest complaint that i've heard about that is like well where's his helmet and where's his boots and it's like yeah that's true but it was still great despite that so and we all, all three of us saw that together which mm -hmm. was great you know, it was definitely a bonding experience for the bros so we were all holding hands yeah. crying <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah there may or may not have been some uh good old classic cuddling there <laughs> I don't know about this guy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You're the one instigating it. <laughs> I'm the cuddly one, right? <laughs> yeah. um, for me, for a movie of the year, and I don't think this is a shock if you guys follow my Slay J reviews on our YouTube, but um, it's definitely going to be Godzilla Minus One. Um, such a complete story. No plot holes. Like, And on, honestly, me going in as just wanting to see... A Godzilla movie, I'm thinking action, 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 but then I was hit in the face with like a beautifully written story, um, the main character's backstory, the main character's just a uh, character himself of being able to to take like an orphan and a girl in that he ends up falling in love with, and just the whole brevity of the situation. He makes some friends on a boat. Um, it's just, it's done, it's beautifully written. Like I said, no plot holes. I didn't feel like anything was missing. All the loose ends were tied. There was a nice kind of like a, um, switch up at the end. Like I wasn't expecting this to end this way and it did, uh, which kind of just made it heartwarming and, and it being like, I'm going to let you guys know, I don't watch movies that are in other languages that often. Um, but I truly enjoyed this one. It didn't feel bad that I had to read the subtitles the whole time because the actors emotions, the actors, like the ways they delivered their lines. I just felt like anguish in some parts and then some just humanity and some humbleness. So, uh, that one's definitely my movie of the year. Yeah. Especially the tone of that neighbor all the time. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbor was so great in that. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. you could tell, like, when she had, like, approval or disapproval oh, when yes. she was talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even those side characters were great, man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I watched Godzilla as well, Minus One, and, yeah, that CGI was really good on it, too. Like, the effects were really good, story was really good. I like the perspective of World War Two that it did, where... Like, the Japanese weren't like, screw the West, they are just more like, screw you, Japan. Mm -hmm. Screw the government for dragging us into this unnecessary war that we didn't want. Was their sentiment more than anything else. And you kind of got to see it just like little by little throughout the whole movie sprinkled in. Just because of them having to live with, well, being a nation that was destroyed for the most part in quite a few different ways because besides the nukes they, like, there was quite a few bombings of major cities uh, 
but yeah, the whole overall story was really good. It was a good, like, timed piece. And then uh, I liked how they went with the dinosaur origin. Because there are two different main origins Godzilla has. One is the... There happens to be a dinosaur still alive that gets radioactive. The other is using a lizard. The dinosaur one always seemed cooler. He does seem cool. And then even just like the scene, like he bites that like train uh, thing. It just looked so cool and powerful. Yeah. And then when he does attack the boat out in the, in the ocean, it's just, it's... Like, you're like, wow, this dude's, like, he's powerful, for sure. Oh, him just throwing everything like crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then, uh, I liked how they did, like, the little, like, quill sticking out for the atomic breath. Oh, nice, yes, yeah. Yeah, that was, was just cool. such a cool touch to it. Yeah, like, it charged up his tail and through his back, and it was, yeah. it was pretty cool. You, like, in the, in the legendary films, you can see it, but it's a lot cooler when you actually see, like, the... His like quills on the back point sticking more out and starting to glow as he gets that atomic breath ready and then I felt like the atomic breath was way more intense because like uh, when you see it the one time close up where someone's having to try to survive it and the sheer power of it was just crazy. It was cool yeah like the blast radius even from it yeah. from the blast itself that was directed elsewhere and it came back it really it was cool like they did they did a good job of kind of like the scientific part of it you know what I mean? well about as scientific as you can get oh well yeah you know like but with a was, fake story but with, with, the, with the with the atomic breath unless there really is godzilla we don't know you know it we're was, not on that side of the world so well <laughs> and, and they're not wrong i mean <laughs> The U.S. and Japan detonated a lot of nukes in that area. <laughs> totally. <laughs> the, Japan, ja the Japanese people during World War II trying to figure out nuclear science. And then, of course, the Americans are like, well, it's our enemy. Perfect place to test it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Jeff, are you going to say that's your movie of the year? or did you Yeah, that's okay. my movie of the year. Uh, Runner-ups would be Oppenheimer and Super <laughs> Mario Brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, honorable mention, for sure, Super Mario Brothers. That one was very, like, um, well done for, like, a video game movie, in my opinion. What do you think about it? I liked it, but I just feel like most of the acting wasn't really acting. Like, they weren't really voice acting, right? They're not okay. voice actors. They're just doing them their own voice. Like, Seth uh, Rogen was Seth Rogen, you know... Uh, but sometimes that's why they choose the character, because they... Like more Disney and like American animation, a lot of times they choose a character for that voice. Like in Aladdin, for Iago, they wanted Gil for Godfrey, so they got Gil for Godfrey, the voice Iago. But now, pe now people are like Iago before Gilbert Godfrey, though. You know what I mean? Like he comes, the character comes before that. Whereas, like you know, it's the actor. You can tell. And to me, that's, you're not really, you're not really your voice acting to me. You know what I mean? Like, there, I'm not saying there's not good voice acting in that, because there is. And the animation was great, and the story was great. I loved the, but I just feel like that was a little, and I know that's what they preferred, but still. So, but I, I wouldn't doubt that uh, Godzilla would probably be my movie of the year as well. It's everybody's movie of the year, it seems like. But the reason it's not is because I didn't see it. Uh, but I heard about it through Film Rage, one of our, uh, you know... Our networking partners. One of our networking partners. And so I heard it, about it from them. So I was like, oh, this sounds so great. I, got, I have to check this out. And then yours. And I was like, oh, man. So, but yeah. And now you heard me. It's tough. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Poor Pablo has to sit here and listen to us, like, rave about it. Uh, but you'll see it soon. Yeah, yeah eventually. I'm confident. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh, in, yeah. in Japan, it's really cool what they're going to do for a special release of it. They're going to re-release it uh, in January in black and white in theaters. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Yeah, I would I wouldn't mind checking that out. Yeah, like I said in my review, I definitely want to see it again. But I think we could probably move on to some what TV shows. Shows, yeah. yes. Yeah. 
Um, Paula, what do you what do you have? I mean, you know, I I really wanted to go with like Ahsoka, but dude, Tilu was the best. The Last of Us was just it was just so well done. Like it just made it just brought it to life, and that's what sticking to the material. That's the way to go. Like when you're true to the material. I mean, think of Watchmen. It was almost panel for panel. They just added in between. Perfect. Easily Zack Snyder's best movie. Easily. Because he stuck to it, right? And and so this same thing, like, yeah, they took away, like, a lot of the gaming elements, so that's kind of a bummer. They said they're going to put a lot more, you know, uh, creatures in the infected in the second season and stuff. Well, I'm looking forward to that, but, you know, it, it was just so well done. I, it has to be. Well, realistically, you're not going to be charging head-on with the infected in a real life situation than you would in the video game because you're going to be like they're going to overtake me I yeah can't, i can't uh, do that and uh, as you know these two are nerdy dads so we do have a special guest on our, yeah. our uh, podcast uh his son here <laughs> spider <Rex>. boy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but i agree with you pablo uh, last of us is my my show of the year for sure um just the character Development. I've never played the game, so I, you know I'm going in fresh, you know. But <laughs> you guys know this. <laughs> we're still, uh, but, still every time we hear, we're like, what? That's but yeah, I know it's. I definitely want to play the game for sure. Um, but I believe Pedro Pascal like nailed that role. Um, even the girl in the in the the show was she was great. Their dynamic was great. They had good on screen chemistry. The story just sucked you in. I just, I, every Sunday, turning on HBO just to make sure I get sucked into the screen because it was just, it was so good. Yeah. Such a good show. I, I have to give to Last of Us too. It was perfect. Uh, the only, the only other show that I think was like a big contender was probably the Doctor Who specials. They were really cool. Yeah, you guys saw. You guys said you saw the Christmas special. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was good with the new Doctor. With the fourteenth. The fifteenth. Yes. Yeah. Because fourteen is ten. Again. Is, uh, <laughs> ten and fourteen. Okay. <laughs> Same actor. But yeah, so no, it was it was fun. It was interesting. I liked it. I like the direction they're going. It's it's solid. The kids enjoy it every even so far. They've really enjoyed it when I put it on. They're sucked in. They're quiet. They're paying attention the whole time. So I'm like, yes, I'm turning in, into little Whovians. Well, the yeah, the the show is be the show has always been geared as like a family show from the beginning, even in the '60s with William Arnell. I, it was always that way, right? Even though the second episode, second arc went right to dialects. What what's that? One, I see. I've only seen one episode. Has that don't blink one? Oh yeah, the. Yeah. Uh, the angels, right? The we yeah. is it weeping angels? Weeping angels. Yeah, yes, weeping. so good. So good. They teeter on the edge of like creepy and scary, like they even this one like it's goblins and they have like this crazy pirate ship and like yeah even even uh, my daughter she was like ah you know like <laughs> but she's still watching like she still wants to know what's going on you know what I mean like it was it was adorable so yeah I mean all you'd have to do to get this guy to watch it is tell him there's a Magic school bus like episode with a dialect. <laughs> really have to go inside and save the dialect. <laughs> Come on, Kelly, with the kid in Magic School Bus. Oh yeah, nice Miss Frizzle. I always <laughs> love too that there's always like a beautiful side character, whether it's a guy or a girl. Like it's just yeah. always someone beautiful, you know. Nice. So whatever you're into, it's I'm, there. I'm gonna say this as an honorable mention because. Yeah, definitely Ahsoka's on that list, too, for honorable mention, but uh, Secret Invasion, loved it. I yeah, know, acting, I know, acting was so good. Yeah, I know I know everybody gives it Trashed, crap, but yes. it's, it's, it's great. Samuel L. Jackson just... Kills it, kills it. And then and then you find out his wife's a scroll, and... The twist. Yeah, yeah it's like, the, oh, the it's, dialogue. Like, it's so good. And then it was one of those binge-worthy shows where it's like... I want. I wanted to binge it because it was just. It was. Just, oh, it just. It flowed so well. Oh yeah, so for sure. Good, for sure. So, games. Games. Yes. Game it on. Game on. Yeah. 
Ready? Granted, I haven't played all the games that came out this year because yeah, I it's, can. it's, 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 can. it's <laughs> difficult. I've seen a lot of them, but that counts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what would you say, man? I, I want to say Spider Man Two, but I haven't played it. So <laughs> I would be like, like Spider Man Two is my game of the year. I haven't even played it, but it's well, like, that game of the year. Makes sense. I think you if know? we're objectively going into it, it's like you got to kind of pick that one. Yeah. yeah. But personally, what would you? say that you played that i played this year mortal Kombat was a blast it was really fun so really for me it really comes down to mortal Kombat one or super mario wonder or super mario bros wonder and i can't play super mario bros wonder with my kid so it's a different thing uh playing that game and it was very trippy it was very fun uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, but my kid can play it and seeing her progress like slowly get better because she was awful at it first because she's never played Mario, right? And her like being like, Dad, Dad, I beat it, I beat it, and being like, Oh wow, you beat a level by yourself, you know? Like you didn't collect anything or whatever, but you got to the end, you know? So that's and then I get to do all the I play it again to get the collectibles. So it's 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 fun because it's like either replay a level or. You know, we just we go back and forth. We take turns. She dies or I die or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it was that. That was just. It was. It was a new. It was something brought new to the table, but it was also very familiar. At least at first, you know. So I, I love that Super Mario Bros. Wonder, for sure. And, and is it, it, I know we've talked about this on the past, but I mean, like the the gameplay part of it. Was it just like another? Super Mario Brothers, or was it like completely different? Well, they added so many new elements. Like I said, like the the powers, or like the the perks or abilities or whatever, mm -hmm. like you can get and stuff. And they make some that are like harder, like you can be invisible. I'm invisible. Can you see me? Yes. yes. Wow. Maybe you should put some shorts on or something if you want to keep fighting evil today. Uh, so that one's really crazy. <laughs> Shelby <laughs> accidentally turned that one on a few times, and I'd be like. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's like, man, I can't see myself. <laughs> I'd be like, open your eyes. She's like, no. And it's like, hey, she was invisible. And I was like, this is super hard. Nice. Like, I don't know why anybody <laughs> would do this. But I think you get, there's perks from it. Like, you get more coins or whatever, you know, if you can finish it. So, but it's 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 a blast. Just like, yeah, there's, there's enough new stuff and enough familiar stuff to make it like the perfect Mario experience. Awesome. Yeah, I would have to say Spider-Man 2. It was a blast to play. And uh, definitely, like, the story was really good. The game probably could have been longer, but I still think it was worth it. And then... Uh, All the suits are cool, too, right? The, yeah, and seeing the power of the PS5 was nice. A little saddening at the same time, because... Uh, Seeing the power of the PS5, then going back to the Xbox, knowing that because of the Series S, some of the features that the PS5 can do just won't happen on third-party games or Xbox exclusives. Because basically, uh, once you get in the game, there's almost no loading whatsoever. And that's like really impressive that there's no loading in the games. <laughs> yeah, I heard the fast travel is just so great because it's yeah. just like so smooth and so easy and, and it just makes it so much better. Even like the gliding and stuff, but like getting to be symbiote Spider-Man and like facing off with Venom. I heard there's going to be DLC for Venom because that's what people want. Uh, you know, so like, and then, and then I think they're going to be a third, and that's going to be the, I don't know if that's going to be the end of the trilogy or what. I know there was a leak. I haven't, I haven't looked into it too much, but I don't really like to get, uh, you know, ruined by the leaks and stuff. But, yeah. But, yeah. So. So you're going to be able to play soon, right? Um, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not even sure. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get time, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Um, so I should be able to play with my kids. I don't think yeah. it's too violent. No, so you should be able to play with your kids. I'm sure they might try to play, but I don't know, you know, how well that'll go. Yeah, we'll <laughs> probably not so much. They'll they'll probably get frustrated with the web slinging because <laughs> the web slinging does take a little bit of practice, just like the original one. Okay, so was it like it's the is it the triggers that you're swinging on or? 
It's the bumpers. The bumpers? Okay. Yeah. That's cool, though. Like, But you alternate? You, like you can alternate, or you can do the same. Okay. But if you do the same, you're going to go more towards the right. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can decide what you want to do from there, and then, of course, you can uh, you can shoot... You can shoot web at enemies too and do different type of combos. Nice. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun. And then it's really cool if you have like Miles with you and you're playing as Peter or Miles, you can do combos together and play off of each other's moves. Oh, that's cool. To uh, attack enemies or if you want like a little web slinging boost, they can get boost to each other too. Awesome. You know what I want is like another Ultimate Alliance game. Oh yes. Because yeah. I, you know, I want to be able to like Wolverine and somebody else do something. But the new Wolverine leaks that I've seen look sick for the the game. So I'm excited for that to come out. All right. And so for for me for game of the year, I'm gonna have to go with the Sports Bros. I'm gonna have to say Madden 24. Um, they changed up the whole engine of it. You can actually play against. I have an Xbox. Uh, Series X, so you can play against PlayStation players now. So it's given like this whole like depth of competition because it's like okay for a long time I was kicking butt on on Xbox players. Now there's now there's computer people and now uh, PS5 people uh, playing too. And also the graphics, I, I I swear not, it looks like you're actually in the game. It's it's just it's done so well. Um, for many for many years, people have been complaining about Madden not changing up like stuff. So they finally did a lot, and then the accuracy, like the stadiums look insane, guys. I'm, it, it, it it's it's crazy. And then you'll have to let you guys play it. But uh, it's that's it's good because awesome. it it gets disheartening where they keep charging oh. for a new game. And just like for rosters. Just <laughs> feels like it's for roster because graphics look the same and like mechanics are the same. So it's good they finally did something different with it. Yeah, and it, it gives you more incentive to do onside kicks, you know, like the stuff that are kind of cheap in my opinion. But I think it's cool because you couldn't really do onside kicks and get it back very often. Like they put like in an element in where. <laughs> You can actually kick it better and it bounces more and it, it's it's cool. It's cool in that, that sense. So nice. Does it have like you can play older like legendary teams? Play as or play against? They have this thing called Madden Ultimate Team where you can kinda create your own fantasy team where it has like Bo Jackson, Joe Montana. But um, I haven't traveled that far into the game if there is, because I just usually go online and try to play people. Um, there might be that element because I know I know an ultimate team. It's like you collect football cards, and then those are your players, and you can you know of course purchase if you want the better stuff or try to buy one from someone online. Um, yeah, if you do Mahomes, do like a year ago, not right now. <laughs> he doesn't have any receivers this year, so I'm gonna give him a pass. Uh, but <laughs> so do they upload like new stats? Yes. So that it, like, fits, like, whatever their current... So, like, as we know, the Cowboys, Trayvon Diggs got hurt earlier in the year, so he's not he's not starting in the game, but you can you can pause and then go to your roster and put him back in. So, okay. you know, it is it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, it does update where it's like Brock Purdy didn't, start, didn't have a superstar status, but now he is because he's an MVP contender. Yeah. Except for yesterday, but <laughs> so yeah, um, you know, for the sports people that maybe tune in, I know we have a few, but nice. You never know. I mean, uh, what about them dolphins? Uh, I mean, managing to like squeak by, but you know what? Squeaking by is still a win. Right. And well, when you kick, kick to do. when you kick five field goals and that's your whole team, your players, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Can you play as LeBron? No. <laughs> Sounds like a garbage game. <laughs> Sounds awful. That'd be the other, the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> no, or you can't play NBA players. You can, you can, like, let's just say you create LeBron and put him in the game. <laughs> You're like, that would <laughs> I mean, be cool. <laughs> if it counts, he can play as one baseball player. He's like, like dunking. 
<laughs> like Bo like, 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 Jackson or was it Deion Sanders, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's, 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 yeah. yeah. he's all hitting the ball <laughs> 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 through the field goals. <laughs> you know how you anger a uh, you know uh, Chiefs fan? You just say one sentence if they insult the Raiders and they get angry. Bo Jackson was a royal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, Royals are the Kansas City uh, baseball team, so. Yeah. <laughs> so he played played baseball in Kansas City and then uh, football in, uh, was it Oakland or L.A.? I think it was L.A. Oh, 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 well, I don't know if it was, it probably was L.A. I think it was L.A., like, it was right around the time where they were in L.A. for a little bit and then went back to Oakland. And then, uh, so honorable mentions for sure in uh, Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, you know, that was such a great story. Mm -hmm. Like, it felt like I was watching a movie and then just randomly playing, like, the fight oh, yeah. scenes. So that, that was cool. And then you go into the Mortal Kombat tournament and then Liu Kang, like, and all that, just all that, like, side story. And then being able to cross, like the, you know, we talked about it in the reviews, but John Connor, I thought that was funny, you know, like Shao Kahn and, and Johnny Cage put together. Johnny Cage's um, Indiana Jones scene, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and, and it's great, uh, John claude Van Damme was one of the voices. Uh, it's just, it was, oh gosh, it was such a good game too. I want to play it again, mm -hmm. just because like once the, all the DLC's there and everything, I think it'll be Yeah, I know, because I want to play as Homelander so bad. <laughs> yeah, once all the Omni Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, once all the DLC hits, get it on the PS5. It'll probably look really good on there. Yeah, for sure. So, let's round it off with uh, Anime of the Year. I gotta go with Attack on Titan. I love Attack on Titan. I, I, I really like, yeah, the ending was depressing, but it's realistic, which is like... Everybody just ends up hating each other forever, and it doesn't doesn't fix anything. Like this whole thing, it's like, because that's realistic. That's life. Like, look at what we have going on now, and really all the time. There's always something where it's like, people, they look the same, and they're just killing each other because of this small difference. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just insane to me. You know, but so for that one, did the series end? It's this it year? ended. Yeah. Yes, and I'm reading okay. the manga, and the manga's so good. But I'm realizing that. The anime actually is really close to the manga, and that the manga is not like way better. It, it's a little bit better, but it's not like supremely better. You know, it sticks pretty close. So yeah, that's what I have to go with. It yeah, it was my favorite Attack on Titan. I don't know if it was just because they took too long to do everything with it, because I was sick of tired of being on the final season for a few years. <laughs> Where they kept releasing a batch and then still the final season. Mm -hmm. You're like, when is this thing going to end? <laughs> and then, well, I've been reading the manga yeah. with it, and that's probably why it's changed my perception of it, too. Yeah, so... And then uh, an honorable mention uh, is... Uh, going to be uh, Demon Slayer. That was, uh, that was definitely a fun one there. Which you can get your Demon Slayer merch, Talk Nerdy Me stuff on our website. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Quick plug. <laughs> yep. But I think the best one is probably Spy X Family. It's such a fun anime to watch. Good character development. A little bit outlandish and crazy, but fun. I mean, who, what, what, what's better than having a spy married to someone who thinks is just an ordinary person that's really an assassin? With a daughter that was experimented on that has like a little bit of psychic powers that can read people's thoughts. And the, and the secret agent doesn't know any of that. And so they all use their elements to be able to uh, help uh, save the day. It, it's, it's such a fun, such a fun story and Good. There's some good side characters too, and I can't wait till the new season. It's gonna be a blast. Awesome. Yeah, I need to check that one out. I've heard good things from people at work. Even um, there's not a lot of like hardcore nerds there, but yeah. 
Uh, I just want to give some shout outs, uh, especially to Atticus. Thank you for giving us a shout out on your page. So I was talking to some of the guys from Talk Nerdy To Me, the show. It's a YouTube channel and I wanted to give them a shout out. He recently reached 500 subscribers, so that's a huge thing. I know. I saw that shout out. That was really awesome. And, man. Uh, fantastic. It. Atticus, we, we appreciate you. Appreciate your support and your feedback every time we have a video. It's only going to help us get better, and man, we, we support you, we want, guys, go check out this guy, he's, he's an awesome dude. Yeah, his videos are really raw, they're really awesome, It's he lives in Vietnam, he's a teacher there, so you get some stuff if you want to be a teacher there, just seeing the country, like I love to just see the country and see the, you know, the buildings and stuff and the food, like it's it's really cool, I like it. So, uh, I was... How dark it can get, that's pretty cool. Too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really, it's really neat. Uh, Pesky Gremlins is another one of our uh, one of our uh, partners. Uh, Cinematic Anarchy uh, Filmmakers Pod, MK Jekyll and Hyde Film Rage for sure. Like we have a good back and forth with them, as well as MK Jekyll and Hyde uh, Web Web Imagine Service. They put out music and stuff. I think mostly in Europe and in England and stuff. So they got some cool jams. And then Amerame Media, and and they cover all kinds of like nerdy anime gaming stuff. And stuff similar to us, but different, of course, because they're different people. So it's 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 really good stuff. So check them all out. And our merch, we got TMNT yep. style stuff, you know, over here. And then we got some MMPR Power Ranger stuff. I love our Power Ranger stuff. I need to get my own because it's wicked. And then I got the Doctor Who that I made for this merch of the month stuff. And yeah, continue to check it out. We have Echo next month, so we're probably gonna do a little Daredevil. I want to do like a designated driver one, <laughs> so if we can do that, um, and just Echo stuff, I need to look up, do some research on Echo, because she's a really cool character and make some merch for that, and whatever else, we got One Piece coming out next month, so we got we got more, there's always more stuff coming, uh, so we're going to keep you all in the know, and cover that stuff for you, merch, and just videos across the board, so yeah. Stay tuned, you know, 2024 is going to be only bigger and better for Talk Nerdy to me, so make sure you stay tuned. And stay nerdy, Planet Earth. Talk Nerdy to me.